It was nothing new Thursday as Indiana fell to number two Ohio State 49 to 21 in what is perhaps the biggest game of IU's history. Indiana came out hot on both sides of the ball, taking a 14 to 13 lead into halftime. It was a different story in the second half as poor play on defense and turnovers cost the Hoosiers. 100%. I think this game, this, this ball team's going to win a lot of games. Um, I mean, just second half came down to execution, you know. Uh, disappointing outcome, of course, but um, very proud of the fight from the entire team. There were a couple of bright spots in an otherwise gloomy night as quarterback Richard Lego and wide receiver Simi Cobbs flourished in the first game of the season. Lego threw for over 400 yards and three touchdowns in his season debut. The bigger story of the two, though, is the return of Simi Cobbs. Cobbs is coming off a 2016 season where he missed all but one game due to an ankle injury. Back to, you know, make plays for my teammates and, you know, just... I uh, keep them energized every time I could make a play. It was just definitely a blessing for me. Cobbs lit up the box score as he was Lego's go-to receiver, hauling in 11 receptions for over 140 yards and one touchdown. A receiver, so uh, if you want to leave him one-on-one, -on -one, he's going to make you pay a lot of times for that. So um, it was good to connect with him. Although the outcome did not go the Hoosiers' way, they have plenty to be happy about, but also plenty to work on before heading to Charlottesville to face off against the Virginia Cavaliers. For J360, I'm Dan Black.